What did our indigenous ancestors look like? What were the faces of those people who built great societies thousands of years ago in the Anahuac, in ancient Mexico? We can have an idea based on the great archive of portraits left, for example, by the Zapotecs. There are so many portraits that the original pieces can be found in many museums around the world. And with artificial intelligence technology, we can see what they looked like back in the day. In this video, we are going to see what a single statuette looked like. It was found in Montalban, Oaxaca, Mexico, the ancient Zapotec capital and superpower of the classical world along with Teotihuacan, Tikal and Calakmul. The face of this statuette, located today in Madrid, Spain, is the one we brought to life using artificial intelligence and photo editing tools. And this is what it would look like. This is the most accurate estimate the AI could make. We can immediately spot features found in people from Oaxaca. After thousands of years, we Mexicans continue to have the same faces and traits of our native ancestors. We added movement to the face to be able to appreciate its cranial structure and why not other possible hairstyles. This is what the person portrayed in the statuette looked like, who lived between the year 300 and the year 700 in the area of Montalban. There is a second face we made, which was the second closest estimate to what the AI gave us. This happens because these are only rough calculations based on the features of a ceramic statuette, not on a photograph or a video. And again, we added movement to see how it would look like, and we noticed only a slight difference in the eyes and a very slight difference in the bone structure of the face. We could say this would be the runner-up choice of how this person portrayed in the statuette could have looked like. But the wonders of this experiment do not end here. We decided to show the different variations the AI produced. This is interesting because it shows how closely related phenotypes would have been within a population based on the facial parameters of the statuette. In other words, we can see what the Zapotecs of the time looked like. The different mathematical configurations of the features of the statuette gives us many different and unique faces. And so, we can see, more or less, just a clue, or at least an idea, of what the Zapotecs, who lived between the year 300 and the year 700 in the Montalban region, looked like. And by extension, what our native ancestors who lived in our old world during the pre-contact era looked like.
And yes, our faces still look the same as those faces which lived many years ago. And this is important because if we look alike, we're also able to achieve the same feats and accomplishments.